everybody, it's Patrick at the Pitch Deck. We're going to go over the Verdance combo. If you have not heard of the combo and all of its complications, it's really all that not that complicated. So we're going to break it down and kind of like all the potential versions of it. Um, there's basically two common versions so far right now that people are working out uh, whenever it comes to the combo. But this is going to be different than a Kano combo, which is typically on your opponent's turn. This is going to be on your turn. So it kind of works along the sides of um, opposite of Kano. So while you're going to be healing and doing damage, um, kind of, kind of, Kano just kind of burns you down. So typically with this loadout, we want Plume. Um, you can probably choose whatever source of um, Tunic or you can do Bark Skin. But you, uh, there, I will come back to this uh, Alluvian Constellus version in a little bit. But the basis of the entire combo rests upon Rampant Growth. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in here a little bit because if you haven't seen Rampant Growth, um, it is a zero cost two pitch um, Wizard Instant and Earth Instant. Um, so that Earth Instant part is actually kind of a key point towards Plume. So we'll go back to that in a second. Um, at Amp X, where X is the total of life that you gained this turn. <clears throat> so you can um, meld from right to left. That's how they resolve. With Plume, you can destroy this by pitching a blue to get a Earth action or instant card from your graveyard to your hand. So typically, <clears throat> what you will tend to do is uh, you'll find yourself a blue, just a random blue is fine. Um, and you'll have your damaging spell right here in the middle or towards the end of the arsenal. Um, and if you happen to have one of these in the graveyard, that's what plume is there for. So if you have a spare blue, then you can just probably just use the spare blue to get that rampant growth back. But it changes slightly different in damage. So we'll talk about that here in a second. So we'll just put this over here to the side. So this is going to be your hand where you will have the damage start off with healing potion one, two, and three with Verdant's pings. So that's your first three source of damage altogether. Let's move this over here just a little bit over to the side. Um, so this is gonna be your damage counter. So we're just gonna say three pings towards that and we're gonna heal for six. From there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sequence it like this. You're gonna say rampant growth and life. We're gonna do both of them together. We're gonna do one life and there is a way of denying the Verdant's ping because whenever it says down here at the bottom, when there are eight or more Earth cards into your banner zone, she gets the ability to gain, whenever you gain a life um, during your turn, you may deal one arcane damage to any opposing target. So you can opt out of that, but typically <clears throat> you can make it to where your sequencing does not have these amps to eat the, um, the damage ping isn't eating the amps, basically. So what will happen? Let's make copies of this where it's going to be smaller versions, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been sick a little bit lately, so I'm going to be clearing my throat and I'll try to man maintain that as a minimum. Sorry about that. So whenever it comes through here, these are going to be the order from right verdance left. So with the verdance triggers, you will do one rampant growth on life, let the life go through and the verdict's ping, um, ping your opponent. So then now we're up to three damage. Uh, sorry, four damage. Now this rampant growth is an instant, so you can just respond to that or just whatever the trigger is. So you can say whole priority on uh, rampant growth. This next one you'll play, do the same thing. You're gonna gain a life and you're gonna go up to um, five damage been dealt. And now you're up to seven health altogether because, or sorry, eight health altogether. Um, and for the last one, you'll just do this one as well. So it's going to be Verdant's trigger after the life. So life, Verdant's trigger, and then hold priority on the rampant growth. So you can do all of these things here. And now you just let all the rampant growths go all the way down. You don't actually have to hold priority on that last one. So once this damage has gone through, you can do that. And you can do this for the total amount of um, life that you've healed. So typically what this will do is you're going to get, let's go ahead and grab a, um, a D12 for us, just for the sake of getting a little bit better visual on this. You're going to do nine, nine and nine. So that's going to be an amp of 27 altogether. So that's how you 
amp towards a bigger combo damage. So you're not going to put that towards your pulse of ether, pulsing ether right here, which will be paying here. You're going to put that towards surgeon aether tide. So that you'll have one left floating over after you apply 27, which will be 28 damage altogether on surgeon aether tide. Surgeon Aether Tide will do the damage. Let's say maximum amount of AB that typically will people will run, which is AB3. So we'll say 25 damage. You've already done six damage. So now the total towards that is going to be 31 damage. From there, this zero or the one cost here, because we'll do zero cost here in a second. Uh, pulsing Aether will be four for that. So it's gonna be 29 altogether. And if they AB3, that'll be 26 damage from Pulsing Aether from the total amount of damage that you've already done it'll be about 55 ish if my math is correct so we will do 31 37 maybe yeah but that's up 57 or so um my math is not too bad right now but it is also um a little bit too rough so i'm just gonna go ahead and say 31 plus 26 so 57 yeah we are correct so that's the amount of damage that you can do towards your opponent for the normal kind of like stock um, standard one that we've done so far that we've seen. Now, the zero cost changes us a little bit, but it actually offers a lot more damage than you might think. Um, so it's sequenced slightly different as well. Um, this blue is going to be used towards doing another um, rampant growth because if you have that uh you don't actually have to have another rampant growth in towards your graveyard at that time but what this combo here does you need to have um epots i don't have epots on me so we're say like you do have an epot or you can use constellus that's why i was actually going to be bringing the uh constellus alongside this as like maybe mirrors because mirrors are going to be taking long and you need that extra damage so for the sake of this entire combo, let's just say that you have a two extra resources plus this. What will happen whenever you have a zero cost here, that two resources, whether it be free from a Leuven Gacellus or an E-Pot applied towards uh, Surgeon Aether Tide, your sequencing is gonna have to be changed because you're using that blue that's into your hand for plume. So it'll be nine, whole priority, nine, priority, nine, but this first one, this, or sorry, this last one has to be resolved all the way fully. So you will do, the amp actually hasn't gone through with these just yet. So we're gonna hold here because it changes these numbers. So this one will be live for nine. So now this one goes into the graveyard and then these still are on the stack holding priority. This plume will change this to come back here, gain you, a lo uh, gain you another life and go all the way up to 10 for this combo. So from this one, this fourth quote unquote um, rampant growth will be 10. Now the second and the first one that you played will also now be 10 and this will be 10 as well. But this will still remain nine because you had to let it go into your bin to your graveyard. So all in all, the amount of health that you have gained will be 10 times four and then the nine here so all in all you're going to be doing um a buff of 39 we're going to do the damage here in a second that'll be the damage up there so we're going to do 39 instead of 25. um realistically we're going to say because an ab3 we're just going to drop it down to 36. sorry about that it's going to be 40 because of the uh one damage on top so 37. so 37 and then so this will apply that epot is no longer there the blue is used for the plume so this mind warp will be realistically the highest damage zero cost without actually hurting our deck you can probably put like an a, a red zap at that point um there's no real red zaps that are worthy so mind warp is fine for now because it's actually a pretty nice bread and butter when it comes to millennium tree so with the two that's being applied for the 37s so we're going to go all the way up to 39 here so 39 for this one. What that'll do is a B3 if they expect it. So they'll drop it down to um, 36 altogether. Um, so 36 from that 37, if I math is correct, it'll be about 73. So 73 here. 
all in all it will be the amount of damage that you can present to your opponent with the increase of alluvian constellas and like like mm, rune blades i guess you could probably put that in there you're definitely going to put it into the mirror or other wizards i don't know about a cilio because it might be too fast um but it's worth to say that it could just be a free two towards it so i guess it won't hurt because i'm also playing a cilio so he doesn't bring a whole lot of arcane so it might be just best to go with bark skin um so that is the very main combo of this and there's some alterations where the e pot is actually going to be used for surging aether tide but the blue is going to be used for forked lightning and you won't have your fourth um rampant growth so what that'll do is still going to be nine nine and nine so it's gonna be nine nine and nine i don't have it to where i can actually get the um, forked lightning for you guys because for some reason it's coded weird it's arc 120 and then I'll try to do the ID and it won't it won't give me that. So for those you don't know, um, it's going to be two damage and two damage. So it's two sources of two damage altogether. So with that, you can't automatically apply the amp towards it because it's just going to be changed um, with how Fork Lightning works. So the two damage is going to be amped only by that first source of amp. And then the second source of damage for that's on the card that won't be amped. So to get around that, we do a surge in ether type to get both of that damage buff towards both sources of damage. And it's about the same amount of damage that you can do. So quickly, this will be about 27 again, or 28 altogether. Sorry about that. So 25, so 25. Now fork lightning will do two. So we can just use this as math, quick math. So it'll be 27 and 27 altogether. So we'll do this that's kind of like this actually it's just play it here yeah i guess it won't let us do it uh there we go so it'll be 27 27 your opponent can now change that to where it's ab3 and ab3 so the most the smallest amount that you'll be able to do um for each one would be 24 and 24. so it'll be about 48 damage altogether plus the 25 that you've already done plus you're gonna have also have health pings so it'll just be three health pings plus the 48 will be 51 and then plus the 25 should be about 576 ish and from how we saw with the mind warp forked lightning only applies for this combo and it's nowhere like useful outside of that mind warp is actually really really good um in terms of normal usage of the deck so you're not hurting your deck by putting it in so i don't agree with you actually putting spork lightning in just to have the same rough amount of numbers um and you still have to have an epot for that as well so you're kind of hindering to where you need the epot for the mind warp as well as the fork lightning so you now need two spots with maybe one or two um one or two epots as well as maybe just one fork lightning and um so it's, it covers more spots and it does about the same amount of damage as you do this so i don't particularly like that combo so for the very last version this one is coming around as a um a higher damage altogether combo so what will happen is you're gonna have count your blessings or all nine are in count your blessings um as well as let me grab this one card that we still have it's called call to the grave It's actually new so i'll bring it up for you guys so that way you can see it um all right sorry about that guys i actually had to make it to where i have to edit this again so what the combo does whenever you have call to the grave is you're going to be putting call to the grave along with your blues because they're so under rate that's what you kind of want to grab because they're plus one so that just makes it severely under rate call to the grave will search for those and put them into the graveyard so the call to the grave is going to be in your hand with two e pots and then later on in the game you're going to be just like tossing all these into the graveyard what this will do is this will increase your damage by probably about more than double because on the standard stock um pulsing ether that we had done or the mind warp that one's about maybe 70 so that is a little bit more than half so the normal one with pulsing ether was about 57 ish so this will double it even more 
the pings from here will be about six and then these will be nine this will be 11 so all in all you're going to be doing 20 damage or sorry 20 health and then amp times three so all in all it'll be 61 coming towards this surgeon ether tide from there they're going to be like ab3 that's the max they can probably do realistically like we're going to be going for four um with that you're going to of course you're going to need a zero cost so because this is your entire hand here and then this is your arsenal you don't have any other resources like other e pots won't do anything for you like maybe you could do a two cost like pulsing ether plus life i don't know if that damage it'll increase it a little bit maybe about four to eight more damage but 122 damage is crazy like you're not going to need that much so i don't think you need pulse you can just do mind warp so it's a little bit easier so you don't have to set out a third e pot so count your blessings will come in and add all the way up to 122 so you've already done seven the entire time where it's one two three four five six and seven instances of you gaining health so seven pings this will add up to 122 for the sake of shortcutting the math here um how this usually works is that this is a switchboard to where these 12 cards along with three epots being 15 altogether will be your sideboard i don't particularly run this version of the combo but i like the other versions that i showed you earlier um i'm probably going to do the constellus version along with maybe one or two epots and that's about it and it'll it'll allow me to get the slower matchups to be better so where the slower matchups i'll put the epots in and the faster matchups i won't because if you keep life parity um the each health pot that you do is about four more damage and then this will be about two damage each or in terms of just like the life that you gain towards your damage of the amps and now of course they're going to be more but like if you had just a couple of blues in your hand and your mind warp's going to be an arsenal you can just use one let it resolve use the other one like you probably do two of them and one blue plus that and then maybe pulsing ether so there's different combinations that you can go but this is just the basics of the verdance combo now there could be changes where you can just do the forked lightning but you can add an ether flare which is basically just their surgent earth ether tide doubled so that means that these are going to be instead of just um the standard four it'll probably be six because this will be the damage towards that which will then feed down towards the flare will then feed down towards the um fork lightning if this was fork lightning uh, but that's it let me know if you enjoyed this content um and you have any questions let me know down in the comments down below thanks for watching guys